Hey guys, Josh here with a new video on how to get more out of your marina holding and breeding box. Something I like to call the multi-purpose marina. The marina holding and breeding box has been marketed as a safe and secure hang on the outside breeding box, isolation box, and acclimating box. Most commonly used by freshwater hobbyists to house their pregnant and holding females, this box has been the best choice for many fish breeders and shrimp breeders. This breeding box allows hobbyists to create up to three separate compartments using partition plates, which are included. Oxygenated water from the main aquarium circulates continuously through the use of an air pump, which isn't included. What else can we use this breeding box for when we're not using it for breeding? Long or short-term housing for aggressive fish, think time out, a safe haven for bullied fish, an observation station where a closer inspection of the fish can be achieved, a shrimp separator so you can separate your pairs for selective breeding, a fry grow, and it's even perfect for acclimating new arrivals. And you can get even more out of the breeding box by hacking it. We're gonna ditch the air pump connection, instead hook it up to the Aqua Supreme pump. Now that our marina breeding box has been upgraded, it's even more versatile. We can now use it as a DIY filter, a media reactor, a copepod safe haven, a hang on the back refugium, a photo lab to take closer pictures of your fish, corals and shrimp, and you can even use this to create a pico reef that is plumbed to your main aquarium. Check out this planted aquarium in the office where we're currently using a pair of marina breeding boxes to keep some of our shrimps and plants. One box houses the yellow sakura cherry shrimps. They are kept here to keep them safe from the more aggressive fish in the main tank that can prey on them. They are also housed with moss that can easily overtake the other plants in the aquarium. The breeding box has become a safe haven for these shrimp to live and breed readily. The other breeder box is used to keep different mosses and moss-like plants separated, so they all have a chance to grow. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, remember to crush that like button, share it with a friend, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for new notifications on new videos. And as always, keep on tanking! Hey guys, Josh here with a new video on how to get more out of your marina holding most commonly used <clears throat> an adjustable bo blah, blah, blah.